Hey guys, what's up? Um, right now I'm going to show you guys how to do Pixel by David Jade. It's a really cool trick. Um, it's impromptu, pretty much. You just need to have a rubber band handy. doesn't matter what kind of rubber band, either a thick one or a thin one. Just as long as it can stretch without breaking. Okay. So uh, you can actually use a spectator's deck if you want, like a borrowed deck. Doesn't really matter. Um, you can just shuffle up the cards. Um, a little hint um, or warning: uh, you might end up uh, bending your cards a little bit with the rubber band, and I'll show you a little bit later um, after I do the tutorial. And then also during this tutorial for pixel I'm going to do like a uh, this variation of pixel that I saw from someone I can, uh, I've learned the, the variation before I learned phase or not phase pixel but um, the ver I'm not sure if, if it's just a variation or if it has a different name but the variation it kind of bends your cards more than the actual than pixel and it's it's it's, it's a cool effect because the card comes shooting out of the deck, but it definitely uh, kind of bends your cards. So let me show you the uh, tutorial for pic Pixel first. So like I said, you can have a spectator shuffle the deck, or you can, doesn't matter. Then you have the spectator select a card. So let's say they choose this one. They choose the Ten of Diamonds, okay? So you can do whatever you want, but just force or control the 10 to the top. So if you're not that good at controlling cards to the top, you can just put it on top, show them it's on top, and then do a bunch of false cuts. Like that. Oops. Like that. Do a bunch of different false cuts. You can do shuffle, from shuffle, but just maintain the top card. That's if you're not that good at controlling cards to the top. Or what you can do is you can slide it in the middle like that push down on this corner so it kind of out jogs it pull it down and grab a pinky break like that then you can do table cut to control to the top or you can do double undercut I just did a table cut um, and then you can do some false cuts and shuffles to kind of um, make it seem like you're mixing up the deck some more then what you do is say okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this I'm going to put the rubber band around the deck Okay. I'm going to use the uh, skinny one. And what you're doing is you flip the deck over, because their card's on top, right there. So what you do is you do a pinky pull down, let's see, there you go, a pinky pull down on the bottom card. And you kind of get like a little, try to use the uh, this part of your thumb to kind of get some more space um, between the card. So that way you can get the rubber, blah, blah, excuse me, the rubber band and put it around the deck except for this card so that's what it looks like Okay, so the rubber band is around the entire deck except for their card but they think it's around the entire deck then what you do say okay it's around the entire deck I'm going to make it even more difficult for myself I'm going to wrap it around a second time and the reason you do this is so that way you can cover the fact that this card is not um, um, not in the uh, rubber band so what you do, you stretch it out and you just wrap it around. Okay? I like to do it just go like that. Just wrap it around like that. And you want to be careful, hold on to this end. Because if you let it go when you put it down, the card will just come out. And that'll kind of ruin the trick. So you want to hold on to this and put this part of the deck down first. And you kind of push it down just so it doesn't pop up. And it might move a little bit, but that's what happens. So rubber band is elastic. Then all you do is say, okay, just watch. I'm gonna make your card jump to the top if I just do this. And then you just bang on the table a little bit, my camera shaved, and then their card will come out because their card was never in the rubber band. It was just wrapped around it. And their card comes to the top and they'll be amazed. Um so yeah, that was Pixel. Now let me show you the one little variation that I uh I cannot remember where I learned it from. I just remember learning. I was like, "That's awesome." Um, so yeah, okay. So just like um, with Pixel, you need a rubber band, and it can be a borrowed deck. It doesn't matter. 
Uh, let's say then you have them choose their card. Say they choose the King of Clubs. Can you see that? There you go, King of Clubs. And uh, what you do is this time instead of controlling it to the top, you want to control it to the bottom. Okay. So if you want, you can put it to the top and do a double undercut. Um, get a break underneath the top card. Take about half the cards, put them to the top. Take the rest of the cards from the break and move them to the top. So that way they're cards on the bottom. Or what you can do is you can do this. You can put the card in the middle like that, and then you can push it up. And when you do that, the cards just naturally separate right there and just grab a break. And then square it up so that way it kind of covers the fact that you are grabbing a break. And then what you do is like a reverse table cut. So you grab all the cards from the break and put them down first, and then just grab as many, um, break up as many packets as you want from here. So that way their card is on the bottom. Then what you do is you say, okay, um, I'm going to take the rubber band and wrap it around the deck. But, same thing, only you're not flipping the deck over because then they'll see the card. So what you do, again, another pinky pull down on the bottom card, and get a little break right there. Well, not really little, it's kind of big. But you're getting the whoa rubber band and wrapping it around the deck, except for their card. Then what you do is you say, okay, now I'm gonna take the deck, and then you what you do is you flip it around and you wrap it around the deck. Okay, and it's a little difficult to do because their card is gonna want to come flying out because their card is not actually in the deck. Or um, not actually in the rubber band. So if you can see that, I'm pretty sure you can. There's a rubber band, rubber band, and there's a big gap right there with their card. Okay, so let me show you guys one more time. So, oops. Their card's on the bottom. The deck is covered by the rubber band. What you do is you break up about half the pack, and you just kind of rotate it so it's face up and face down, and then you flip it around one more time. Okay? So that way, their card is sandwiched in between the deck, right there. Okay, and then you don't want to show. You can set, be careful showing this. Don't want to say, okay, see the cards are completely sandwiched. If you do, make sure you cover that break. Because if you go like that, then they'll see something's up. So you, you want to kind of cover it. And say, okay, see, it's just completely lost. But usually don't do that because you can end up flashing that and they're like, oh, I see what you did there. Then what you do is say, okay. All I have to do is drop the cards onto the table and your card will come flying out. And when I say flying out, I mean flying out. And I, I mean literally. Like, don't just say that to the audience, it actually is going to fly out most of the times. Uh, if you have a good rubber band. So, where well, you just drop it down. Oh, that was a fail. <laughs> um, and then their card comes popping out. I want to try that again. I want to get one where the card comes flying out, because that's always better. So, wrap it around. Like that. Okay, so the card's in the middle. Okay, that was a little better. Um, I can't seem to get it. Um, I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. So I'm going to try the bigger band just to see. So just when you're doing this, you want to be careful not to flash that there's a card in between. And you want to be careful to not um, show that there's a big gap right there. Okay? Yes. There we go. Just drop it down, the card comes flying out as their card, and they'll be amazed. Um, so, yeah, that was Pixel and a variation of Pixel. Oops, and um, the second one, if that has a name of its own, it's not just Pixel variation or whatever, then please tell me. Um, I'd like to know what the name was because I cannot remember the name for, for anything. And uh, yeah, I might do a uh, performance of the variation. For Pixel, um, I just haven't done it because I don't want to end up messing with my cards that I like, and that one kind of does it bends the selected card a little bit. So I might end up doing cards with this card, with these cards because I don't really care for these cards; they're not that good. When they, um, that one person said that when I did the review, they said it was a rip, uh, the deck was a ripoff. They weren't lying. They don't fan that well. They slide not that well either. They're, they're I'm not a big fan of them. They're, they're cool looking, but they're just not that good for performing tricks, I think. If you're going to get these, maybe use them to, for actually playing, like poker and all that stuff. 
So yeah, uh, that's all for me. That was Pixel and a variation of Pixel. I already said that, but oh well. And uh, tell me what you guys think down below. Wait, down below. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.